Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex and the topic for this video is how to use sexual trigger points to induce orgasmic states. For this video it would be very useful to have a partner, a lover or have um, you know, a couple of people with who I can demonstrate the, the, the techniques. Uh, but for now we are going to you know, just give you some hints here. I will probably record some other videos where I'm going to demonstrate more clearly what I mean by trigger points, where those points are and how to use them. So in the body you have what we call the primary sexual system which is the genitals, the erogenous zones like the nipples and the lips, uh, very often the, the ears are well as well qualify as erogenous zones and um, that's the primary sexual system. The secondary sexual system involves points like on the shoulder, in the back of the neck, the throat, uh, the heart, and we talk a lot about the chakras. You know, you can, you can massage the top of the head and create a massive flow of energetic activation in that area. You can massage the feet, you know, so there is lots of uh, trigger points that you can use within tantric sex that are going to be creating a flow of orgasmic energy which is extremely powerful. So the, the simplest way to activate those trigger points is to create some form of pressure. For instance, if you focus on the heart area and for instance you want to focus on those, uh, on those two points over here and you're having sex Imagine that you're having intercourse or without even having intercourse, you are sitting on top of your lover, partner, and um, uh, they are laying down on their back. Then you put pressure with maybe the thumbs and you start pressing that. And then you start breathing together, you know, deeper breathing. <sighs> and then you start pressing a little bit harder. You check with them that you're not crossing the pain limit. But basically it's going to activate some form of energy release. You see, I'm doing it on myself right now. I'm already feeling an activation. I'm feeling that there is energy rising in the back of my, of my, uh, in my back. There is some Kundalini rising. I can feel that there is some activation there. And, um, and as I press a little bit further, like now I'm reaching maybe 60% because I don't, I don't have an angle, which is very, um, very good to uh, to induce pressure but as i keep on being there i start feeling like there is an activation of my energy body powerfully happening you know if you go and get a massage and somebody starts uh, activating your feet through uh, reflexology or you go and ch take a chinese massage that is going to be focused on the feet then uh, of course it's going to, to be just on the edge of pain sometimes it's pain but what happens there is that there is an energetic release. It means that the nadis in the bodies are being activated and there is a flow of powerful energy coming through you. So what I just did here, it's on just this point. You can stay with pressure on a point like that for a few minutes, you know, up to five minutes. And while your lover is there, you know, breathing deeply, then you, you start activating these points and you can shift points. You can go into that, that area. Or you can, you know, press those two points. Uh, you can activate the back of the neck and really massage this area a little bit on the sides here. You can also work on the throat. Sometimes there are some, you know, creating a little bit of restraint without, you know, too much pressure can also create lots of lots of pleasure and uh, energetic release. Then you have lower points as well in the stomach, in this area, on the side, by the ribs. You know, there are lots of points that you have to explore. Different people will respond in different ways to those pressure points. It means that sometimes when I'm experimenting with these techniques on women, some women will respond really, really strongly on the lower back area and some others will respond very strongly when it's in the stomach area, in the central channel here that activates a very strong energetic release. And so it's important to play and experiment a little bit with all that, discover a little bit more about all that, those massage techniques. Uh, if you research 
that very often it's called uh, de-armoring techniques. Um, I call them also energetic release uh, techniques, energetic release points. So what is interesting is that if you practice putting pressure on those points with, uh, with your lover and uh, you, uh, you activate them and then you, when you engage sexually and you are having it of course, if you add pressure on these points, it will literally take your orgasmic bliss and the pleasure that you are getting there to a whole new level. You can try it out. The best thing to do is if, for instance, if you are having intercourse and you're on top of your lover, just grab their neck here in the back of the neck and start putting pressure here. And you check with them to, to make sure that it's all right, that it's not too painful. But you will notice that this is already creating oh, a tremendous sense of energetic release and uh, that you can use in combination with, uh, with, uh, with intercourse. The way to activate those points, you can just put pressure. Like for instance, right now I'm using the, the, the heart chakra area. So just putting pressure. You can also take some oil and start massaging the area. So this is a bit softer, it's, um, but it's going to activate this area as well. Or you can use as well tapping. But right now I feel that the, the best, you know, for these pressure points that release lots of tension, the best is really to put pressure and activate activate them uh, for instance when you come to the throat area softer touch might be more appropriate you can use a little bit of oil and start massaging up and down coming up and you will notice that after a while you don't even need the physical touch it means that you purely activate these points for instance in the throat here by putting pressing with a finger but without actually touching the physical body you purely massage the energetic you can also give an energetic massage which means that you activate the electromagnetic field of of the body and you will notice that this works as well there are lots of demonstrations about that where you see actually people entering into an orgasmic trance without anybody touching their physical body at all so there is a lot of mystery there uh, this is a you know very powerful set of techniques and um, as far as I'm concerned, tapping into these uh, energy points and adding them to lo your love making or using them separately as a proper technique by itself is like the, the holy grail of tantric sex. It's massively powerful. It can totally change the perception of what sexual energy is inside of you and how to activate it. So as I said earlier, we are going to have more videos here with uh, practical demonstrations on how to do that one-on-one uh, -on -one with a partner. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.